Hey pilots, how's it going? Let's do this, let's jump in. Our R101 loadout, which you may have seen in a previous video. This is a loadout I've been using to really help me kick off with the R101. Make sure I'm getting those consistent top 3 gameplays, because in all honesty, as I stated in the previous video, I actually found it really, really challenging. This weapon came out, and the first thing I thought was right, I want to make an awesome video, show you guys a loadout that works, and... I really couldn't find one for quite some time, so after a lot of playing around, I managed to get this loadout sorted, you can check it out in the previous video, and honestly it's been really really helpful in ensuring I'm getting top 3 when playing with this loadout in Titanfall 2, and we'll find out in this match how I do. So guys, the main idea of this video is to check in a week later, and have a look at Titanfall 2. So we're gonna have a look and say, well, we've just had this new update, how does Titanfall 2 feel right now? Are we happy with the paid content, the free content, what do we think, and all that type of stuff. Before we get started, I'd just like to say one of our subscribers is actually in this video. His name is Potato Aim, and you'll see him in the chat. You'll see him call me out when I get a little cheeky shout out on him. And I'd just like to give him a shout out. It's awesome to see people that we also interact with on YouTube and meet on Titanfall 2. It's good to see them in-game, play against them sometimes, and also play with them on the same team. Now pilots, for the new update, as you're aware, Titanfall 2 Colony Reborn, we did get this new map we are rocking at the moment, the new colony map. Now I must say, the map is really really cool, it's great to feel like we're back home, getting these really awesome Titanfall 1 maps available in the game. It is a little bit of a shame how long it did take, but I do realise I've got to reskin the entire map make sure it's up to date and works with all of the code and movement and mechanisms that they have in Titanfall 2. I did play a Titanfall 1 game and you guys will see that on the channel. Someone requested, said, hey Bounty, what about Titanfall 1? You play a lot of Titanfall 2, it'd be awesome to see maybe one or two clips of Titanfall 1, so we do have one coming on the way. There won't be too many though because there were about eight people online. And, you know, it does get a bit challenging, your patience does get tested when there's only eight people online. And the actual clip I have, it was myself and two other people. So it is a little bit quiet, especially on PC. The game is about $9 on console, and I have heard there's anywhere from 2,000 up to 10,000 people online when playing on console. So guys, for this new update, the free content we got was the map, which is, it's really awesome, it's something different, it's something all the pilots and players are after. And we also got the R101 Assault Rifle. Now, for this weapon, as you guys probably heard in previous videos, or maybe even watched on other channels, it really is just a copy and paste of the R201, just with a different scope by default. So by default you get the ACOG scope, on the R201, you actually have iron sights, and then you can unlock all the other scopes and things like that. Now, it is awesome that they're thinking of new weapons. It'd be great to have something like the chain gun coming back. It'd be awesome to have just a bit more variety in terms of weapons. I feel as though a fourth sniper rifle would be really welcome. And maybe I'm just saying that because I'm a sniper pilot, but there's only three. So it, it does seem a little bit like something's missing. It would be nice to have four, maybe even five. And a couple of extra pistols, because the Wingman and Wingman Elite, it's pretty much just the same weapon. A few little changes here and there. Besides that, it's pretty much the same. So, I must say I'm very impressed with the map, very happy to see it. For the actual assault rifle though, it is cool, don't get me wrong, it's very exciting to use something different on the frontier. And also another weapon to level up, new banners and things like that you can unlock. Really excited about all of that, and I am looking forward to regening. But... I feel as though they can do a tiny bit better, and I feel as though we can get a little bit more. So guys, with the future update, there have been a few leaks here and there, and I can say that it's shaping up to be a really huge update, especially with a couple of new game modes, Vanguard Class Titans, all that type of stuff, it is shaping up to be really exciting. So I can say that Colony Reborn is a step in the right direction. The free trial weekend did get a lot of new pilots coming in, checking out the game, enjoying their stay as well, and realizing that the community most times is very, very friendly. And occasionally you do get a game here and there with a couple of hackers. I did get quite a lot of views and even comments on my hacking videos saying, hey Bounty, I actually think I ran into this last weekend, or hey, on the free weekend I noticed there were a few sort of new faces out there, a few more dodgy hits and things like that. 
and it could be hacks but it could also just be that the servers were under a lot more stress that weekend i did notice the lag was a bit sort of worse compared to normal and it seems to be okay now it seems to be okay when i'm shooting people they're dying when they shoot me i'm dying and that's kind of really all you need there's a little bit of delay 50 milliseconds but that's totally fine so it's going to be really exciting to look ahead to the future updates and also looking back on this one i think everything's gone well it's a step in the right direction we're just going to blow up that legion titan it's cool to have a new weapon even though the stats aren't very different it's still good to have something new we can play around with this new map will definitely be welcome because i'm getting a bit tired of crash site so it's nice to have the colony map available and also hopefully future maps will be coming out just so there's a lot more variety when we do go through the map rotation we've spent the last three or four months with all the old maps crash site eden stuff like that so it's nice to have some time for one maps and hopefully even some new future maps coming out as well for the new game mode life fire this is the update before colony reborn i still really enjoy that game mode and i hope you pilots do too i think it's really really strong that when they bought out live fire it had really good feedback about it a lot of pilots were playing it and a lot of people really got stuck in on the double xp weekend as well for live fire i did notice colony reborn uh not colony reborn colony 24 7 was a lot quieter in comparison to live fire and i think a lot of pilots just prefer the new game mode the fact it was nice and short it was very very quick high paced you you need to know how to wall run you need to be good with epg and hopefully not using too many devotions out there and it's a really exciting game mode and even to this day when live fire comes up i'm thinking yeah this is going to be awesome you know you sit up in your chair you hold on to your mouse where you grab your controller a little bit tighter and you get ready for that really fast action pace type gameplay because you know that you need to play well otherwise your team won't be too happy and you got to try your best and make sure you get kills and also don't forget about the flag they have made the slight change where flag captures aren't ranked so highly and it's actually kills that are more important now so if you go in you have 10 kills and no captures and someone has say three captures you'll still be and barely any kills you'll still be on top of the leaderboard so it's nice to see the rewarding the higher kill counts in that game mode now pilots the other changes that we had for colony reborn more so the double xp on every mode while i think this is really good for the new players coming in the people on the free trial weekend how awesome would it be to see that you're always leveling up you get from you know you might even get your first regen over the weekend you might get two or three regens and it's really going to help you get stuck into the game but also for the current pilots who aren't yet max level it's a really big helping hand to get you guys closer to the 10.50 max level but it will also be good to see when the level cap eventually gets higher hopefully gen 15 i do think gen 15 is going to be their first stop before they start looking at 20s or the other option is if they don't cap it at 15 they'll go flat out for the gen 100 and just pretty much say play till your heart's content hopefully we do get a lot of double xp weekends to make up for the ones that we've missed so we can definitely get the most out of titanfall 2 look at this here guys we've got the legion someone's throwing a fire star there's grenades all over my screen don't really know what's happening gen 9.12 on the legion so we've got eight more levels trying to punch that pilot ejecting out and we're also level 18 on the r101 so we've got a few levels left but anyway pilots now it's your turn let me know in the comments below your thoughts opinions feedback all of that good stuff about colony reborn whether you thought it was an awesome update with a free weekend new weapon new map and other minor changes they've made or whether you whether you were expecting a little bit more whether you thought that hey this is cool but i kind of wanted a different weapon or i wanted a new titan or i was hoping they'd release a map pack of say five packs let me know in the comments below guys always enjoy reading through those responding to those and seeing what you guys are up to as well let me know if you're keen for a game of titanfall 2 as well i do play on pc and guys we're going to be wrapping this up we almost got 200 points so that's pretty cool we got 178 points which is not too bad considering we're still getting used to the r101 it's still a new weapon there's a lot more to learn and we can improve i definitely know we can improve there could be an even better loadout out there and if you think you do have one definitely let me know 
I'd be very eager to try it out as well. And we're going to see how many kills we can get here with the final smart core. Heading on over, not really much happening. And check this out, pilots. I don't know if we're going to have time for the dropship, but something cool is going to happen. We'll see if we can catch it on the way out. Causing lots of damage, going in here, ejecting, and we're catching the dropship. There we go, pilots. Four of us in there just chilling out. 465 to 500. And we're just going to roll on over. 178 points, 17 kills, 4 Titan kills, and 42 minion kills. Not too bad. Still getting used to the R101. Anyway, pilots, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And as always, have a really awesome day. Peace.